Greetings Lunarians and Brigandine fans, I am your host, Vagos Sonari, back with another guide video for you. This is the United Islands of Morelva questing guide. Before we get into the screenshot, I do have access to a Viking here with Guinea, so I'm going to be able to figure out which locations required Vikings as opposed to Berserkers, and I kind of misspoke in the last video where the Berserker actually prefers planes. I uh, misspoke and said they preferred mountains, so my bad on that one. But we'll see what differences we come up with on Berserkers going to planes and then Vikings going into water. I will also be going over the sorcerer specific locations as well. And here is the screenshot. Please, by all means, feel free, of course, to screenshot this, like I say in all the videos. Save it to your phone, save it to your PC, whatever you need to do to have easy access to it. You can also find this document within my Discord server that I am hosting. It is in the description below. Check that out. And you can also find this in the description as well, just on the very top of the description. So feel free to hit any of those three resources up to make sure that you are questing your knights in the proper locations. Very quickly, let's go over the sorcerer types real quick. We have a few here. From the very top, we have the Nails Ruins. This comes from the previous guide that I did. So you are going to see some copies of locations in these guides. It's just going to happen that way. We also have sorcerer type specific to the ruins of Narm. We also have sorcerer type specific to the Isle of Seymour. This is a new one that is found within the United Islands of Morelva specifically. And that does it for sorcerer types. Let's look at the Viking types here really quick. So if we notice, we have the first Viking type specific location as the Morrow Bay in castle locations Port Side and Balutza. This is in the northeastern side of the islands of Morelva. Notice how berserkers or barbarians do not like to go to this particular location, but Vikings do because the terrain type does change to water. And we also have two more Viking specific locations at Orson Bay and Sea of Mariana. I was actually speculating if the Viking types could go to the Sea of Mariana back in the Man of Cilicia Theocracy questing guide, and I was right. So it is confirmed Vikings can go to that location and Orson Bay, which makes sense. A bay means water, so Vikings like to go there. Anyways, let's go to the unique unit that we have within the United Islands of Morelva, which is, of course, the gentleman automaton known as Umimaru. You can already tell that Umi likes to go to several locations, starting with the Nails Ruins, Ruins of Narm, also he likes to go to the Isle of Seymour, and also the Arya Great Plains. Definitely check and see where else Umi likes to go to as you expand throughout the continent. It's more than likely he's going to have plenty of places that he can go to. That takes care of the specifics and pretty much the entire guide. So if you need any other assistance, please hit me up in the comment section below. Please, by all means, as I said before, screenshot this right here so you can have access to it on your phone or your PC. You can also access this in the description below and also in the Brigandine Discord server, which is also in the description. Any other Brigandine resources you wish to get a hold of, like the wiki page or the subreddit page, you can find all of that in the description below as well. You can also find all of the other Brigandine content creators on YouTube and Twitch that are streaming this or uploading videos of this every single day. That way you have a ton of Brigandine content to digest. If you still have not checked out my very first playthrough of the Holy Gustava Empire, which is what I started the game with on release day, you can find that playlist in the top right hand corner. I do hope you enjoy that. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment below with your experiences on the game thus far, and also subscribe if this is your first time here or you want to see more guide videos like this, and also more LP series. Also look forward to the alternate chapter coming up after I beat the game for the first time on Holy Gustava Empire. We will be unlocking challenge mode for the first time. I will be streaming that exclusively and of course uploading the streams onto my YouTube channel so you guys can check it out there if you cannot attend my live streams. Hit up my Twitch channel below, throw me a follow, we'll have some fun. I am your host, Vago Sonari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.